Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. We have 55 seconds left. <laughs> that is crazy. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome to Fortnite. Um, I've never actually played Fortnite on the channel on PC. I've played on my phone, but I've never actually played here on my computer in like the real game, more or less. And I'll tell you guys right off the bat, I'm not very good at it either, but I'm getting a little bit better here and there. However, today we're doing something a little bit different. In case you guys don't know, the new playground mode just came out. It actually came out last week, but uh, they kind of had some problems and it was gone for almost an entire week. We were waiting an entire week for it to come back it is finally back and so I thought that we kind of tap into our creative side and try doing some builds here in Fortnite so I was thinking now uh, this could be a little bit too ambitious, but I like the idea of it I was thinking for our first creative build here in Fortnite And we'll see if we do more of these in the future if you guys really enjoy it, but for our first build Let's try and build Baldi's schoolhouse in Fortnite. That's what we're gonna do today. So as you can see, I'm dressed up as the, the sleuth. This is a new costume that just came out and uh, he's pretty sweet. He looks very, very official, very dapper with his trench coat and his cameras and whatnot and stuff like that. And he's got a big old magnifying glass that functions as a pickaxe, which makes no sense. As you can see though, in playground mode, which is super cool, you get tons of materials by knocking stuff down. It's insane. I just got 310 wood from hitting a tree. So that's the first thing that we got to do. We got to collect some mats for sure. Um, I don't know if we're going to need 999 of all the materials, but I was thinking that the main building material that we'll probably end up using is going to be stone. I think that that's typically what a school is built out of, right? You have brick schools and all these schools seems to be the typical school type structure, right? So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use mostly stone. We're probably going to use wood for the floors like like hardwood floor type stuff I don't I don't actually know I haven't really put that much thought into it I have a map on my other screen that I can reference and I can use to kind of figure out what rooms go where and stuff like that because I don't think there's any way that I could do this from just my memory Baldi's schoolhouse is a little bit more complicated than you know a standard just normal looking building okay so we have 999 wood we have 980 stone and we have 280 metal which I think that's a good starting point but now we do need to find somewhere to actually build this thing and it might actually end up being a little bit off the ground because we need like a big open space but it needs to be flat and I'm not really seeing too much perfectly flat space and I don't I'm not familiar enough with the map to know exactly where a good spot would be so I figured you know we'll, we'll go here anarchy acres why not so as you can see we do have a limited time which kind of scares me we have 51 minutes to do this and I'm kind of rambling on and on and I'm not I'm not using my time wisely so let's start actually building and I guess I'm just gonna start right here this is where we're gonna start. So this is basically gonna be the entrance of Baldi's school. And like I said, I have a map on one side that I can kind of reference. So first things first, we probably wanna like lay out the border, right? You, that's how you do puzzles, right? So that's basically what we wanna do with Baldi's schoolhouse. Now, the tricky thing is, is that I don't know exactly the scale of this entire thing, but if you could imagine, this would be the entryway. So Baldi would be standing like right in front of us at this point. So we want another wall here, and then the walls break off. And Baldi's school is basically a rectangle. I mean, it's not that complicated. Of, of a design, but this is where things get kind of a little weird because there's hills and stuff in the game. We might have to like, I, I, I don't even know. I don't want to worry about it right now. We're just going to try and figure it out as we go. 
And also, I'm not quite as familiar with the building mechanics in this game as like a game like uh, Raft, for instance, where we're building Granny's house. So um, it's going to be a bit of a learning experience as we go. And I really, really worry about this timer. This is freaking me out. It's putting a lot of pressure on me. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's just about right. And then we make a bend, and then we head in the other direction. And now this one is gonna go, what I'm thinking is probably about seven over. And then that is where the other exit is gonna go. I lost count, I need, I need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And then this is where we put an exit. Now what we may end up doing is actually just this will be the foundation now that I think about it because we can use this as the foundation and then build a floor on top of that and then we can build the school up above that and then we don't have to worry so much about the hills and, and be obstacles being in the way and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing but this at least will give us a very clear layout for what we're doing. And I really am just kind of eyeballing this based on the map. So I think that I wanna go six over now, and this will take us to where we make our next kind of turn. So that's four, five, and six. And we have plenty of materials. Let me tell you, we got materials for days. I should have done this in brick. Now I'm a little bit annoyed with myself that I didn't do this in brick. Whatever, we'll do the next wall up in brick, I promise. Okay, so now we bend once again, we make a turn, and I think that this one is a little bit further down. So I'm thinking this one is probably eight, I would say, seven and eight eight and then we have our exit right here now this is the cafeteria basically this is the exit at the cafeteria if you can kind of get an idea of where we're at in our build right now and then we'll just go two more over and then this is where it gets a little bit weird because there is a long hallway right here and this is where that weird phone thing is you know the bendy did i just say bendy I, uh, Get out of my head, Bendy. Where the baldy, like, distraction device is. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta drop a quarter in there, and then that gives you uh, some time to get away from Baldy while he's confused. So this is kind of the long hallway, and then the cell phone is at the end of this. And then what we probably want to do is two more over. Oh, oh, I'm getting lag. Oh, man. Okay, whoa. Little laggy. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We're still good, right? We're still good. We are gonna have to knock down that nice little farmhouse over there. We're gonna have to get a lot of this stuff out of the way, but that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky because we have a room here actually, and this room is where one of the notebooks is. This is a classroom. So I'm just gonna make a fairly big room here. Probably something like that. That should do the trick. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Again, I'm mostly just doing this to kind of get an idea of where everything is laid out. Okay, now let's go over two more, and then this is where the exit is. On the west side of the building, if you know your cardinal directions, good enough, even though we're pointing south in Fortnite, this would be the west side of Baldi's school. That's not confusing at all, right? Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. This stuff is all in the way. You're getting in the way. I gotta take down this building over here, so get the heck out of here, and get some materials with it. So that'll be nice. And a med kit. Why not? I gotta be real with you guys. I'm a little self-conscious about playing Fortnite in front of all you people because I'm not good at it. And I know that you guys out there are good at it. I just haven't put enough time into it. I really need to play more. I enjoy the game. I just don't always have a lot of time to play it. So it's one of those things where I'm gonna kind of have to be forced into learning how to play it, especially if we continue making these videos. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and you can help me get better at the game. But the nice thing is that I don't have to shoot at anybody in this mode. All I gotta do is build. Okay, where are we at? What, what are we doing? I'm, I'm kind of losing track of where I am. That's the exit. Okay, and then we gotta go down probably six more. Basically, we need to meet up with where we started. So I'm hoping that that basically lines up with that right there. That... I think is pretty good. Yeah, actually, this all turned out very, very nicely. So I'm really happy with the way this has turned out so far. So there you go. <laughs> That's kind of the basic layout of Baldi's school. We've managed 
to waste about 10 minutes doing that. So we don't have a ton of time, but at least we've got to start here. So now what I need to do is build the foundation. So this is basically the floor of the actual school. This is what we're going to be running on when we're inside of the school, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to fill in this entire space with wood flooring because it seems like schools would have wood flooring, right? It would either be like wood or like linoleum, I guess, you know, like that squeaky stuff. But uh, we don't have linoleum in Fortnite, so I'm just going to use wood. I am about halfway through my uh, wood material, so uh, we might have to go back and collect some more. I'm not worried about it, though. I really like how in this playground mode, when you break stuff, you get hundreds of materials. It's awesome. I was a little bit worried that you'd have to grind for it, and then you'd waste time having to get all your materials. Nah, not the case here. Oh, no. I ran out of wood. Okay, okay. We need to get more wood. Let's get ourselves some more wood. Let's just break down, like, this fencing and stuff. Yeah, that's 100 wood right there. Let's see what the cabbages give us. 50 wood each? That's amazing. Yes, please. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. We are stacked with wood. Very nice. All right. I got to get rid of this, though. I'm going to get rid of the staircase that I built. Okay. I am getting a little bit of lag here and there, which is a little strange, but that's okay. Man, this eats through materials very, very quickly. My gosh. I'm still really worried about that clock. Why can't they just give me infinite time? Oh, no. I'm lagging. No, I fell off. <laughs> Why? No, I'm out of wood again. All right. Well, let's break down another barn. Okay. I've got my wood. I'm good to go need to get rid of these stairs and I also need to get rid of the brick flooring that I accidentally put down there it is get out of here 37 minutes we can do this we can do this I feel like the process of building this like main foundation kind of area is probably the hardest part of this entire process I hope that's at least what I'm telling myself to make myself feel a little bit better about the amount of time that we have left I think that we can make this work so there you have it we're done Baldi's schoolhouse. Beautiful, right? No, we're not done. This is only the beginning. So, of course, now comes building the walls. So, let's go around the entire outside area of Baldi's schoolhouse and let's put in some nice brick walls. And we're just doing the outside right now. Eventually, obviously, we have to go inside and we have to build rooms on the inside of Baldi's schoolhouse, but this is only the beginning. We also have to put in doors and stuff like that. I mean, there's still plenty to do. Okay, the walls are complete. There you have it. It's, there's a few holes in some of the walls, but let's just ignore that. The school hasn't had proper funding. A lot of repairs need to be done. It's okay. The kids are still getting a good education here at Baldi's Fortnite School of Education. So, of course, the next thing that we need to do is actually start building the rooms. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier because we have to be aware of where we're putting the rooms because we only have so much space in this area. And if we mess up with the rooms, then things are going to get kind of weird. So this here is basically I'm standing inside of the cafeteria, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to gauge how big the cafeteria is. It's the biggest room in the game. This span right here is one, two, three, four. So I think the cafeteria is the same length from here. So we've got to go one, two, three, and then four. That actually doesn't feel right. I think it's five. Yeah, that's much better because it lines up with the classroom that's right over here. Also, I am out of brick. That is terrifying. So we need to go find some more stone. I might have to go on a bit of a scavenger hunt here. And with a limited amount of time, this is making me a little bit nervous. Gonna be honest with you guys. It's really gonna stink that we do all this work and then we lose the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Like, you don't get to save your creation. This isn't necessarily like Minecraft, which is kind of a bummer. I wish that you could save what you do and then continue it later, but you gotta do it in one shot. So <laughs> there's, a, there's a little sense of dread here with the idea of losing all my progress and having to do it again. But let's not think that way. Let's, let's stay positive. And while we're here, we'll probably grab some uh, more wood and we should grab some metal too that we see. Okay, so we're full on stone, at least mostly full on stone. There's the 
rocket. It's seen better days. Is this infinite metal? That would be awesome. No, this thing's gonna break. And it's honestly not even giving us that much metal. Oh, I blew it up. Okay, I blew up the rocket. Awesome. Any more metal around here? Yeah. Oh, a llama! The llama's gonna give us so many materials, but we already have too much. So we're not gonna be able to use all the llama's materials. Let's, let's see what's inside. Llama pinata party, right? Yeah, yeah, we got metal and wood, and we are stacked. Okay, let's get back to our build. We got work to do, and we only got 30 minutes left. Okay, so this room here is a classroom. This is where a notebook is. In fact, I'm gonna put a little door right here so that we have an idea of where the classroom is. There it is. So there's also a door right here that we probably want to set up. So this is the door leading into the cafeteria. Now we're filling in the next wall for the cafeteria. And I think that's as far as we want to go. Okay, you know what? I'll come back to that later. Let's figure out the hallways too. So we really want to figure out the hallways because that's the only way you're going to be able to get around the school. We want to make sure that we have enough space for all the hallways. So there's a gap right here. And this is a hallway basically leading in this direction. And then there's also a gap right here. And there's another hallway leading in that direction. I know this is all very confusing right now and it's pretty confusing for me as well. I'm just trying to get an idea of where everything is kind of laid out, if that makes sense. Okay, I think we're good here. So we want to build a wall continuing down and then right here is a faculty room. So this right here is gonna be a door and this is gonna go into one of the faculty rooms that has a, it has a quarter in it. And this is a pretty small room. So I think that's good for that room. Close the door behind us, cause we're not animals. And then right after that is another hallway. And this leads kind of towards like the detention area. Hopefully you guys have an idea of the way things are getting laid out. But again, I'm not like 100% sure that this is gonna, be laid out exactly like Baldi School, but we're gonna make it look as close as we possibly can. So this room here that we're kind of filling in right now, this is where the candy is. And this is the side of the school that you start on. Yeah, put door right there, bam. Okay, so there's candy in this room. And then we're back at the front of the school. So this is where Baldi hangs out. And this one's a little weird, but basically there's a room right here. And this is where you get your first book. Unfortunately though, it's a very, very small room because the room next to it that has the candy in it is too big. We might have to make the candy room a little bit smaller. I don't know, I don't know. We're, we're winging this for sure. Okay, this is all kinds of wacky because in this section right here, if I can kind of give you guys an overview of it and uh, keep in mind that I am kind of running out of time, but this section right here that we're looking at uh, there's candy in this room, but it's connected to a room that goes over here that has the cassette tape in it And then it's adjacent to this room right here, which has the first book that you get So clearly I have made the room with the candy too big. The room with the candy is way too big So I think we can fix this though. Let's destroy this wall here. We don't like you Let's destroy this wall here. We also don't like you. And then let's put a wall right here, right here, here, and here. Hmm, I don't know. Actually, let's get rid of this wall too. I don't like it. Okay, I think I can make this work. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weirdly shaped. It's not entirely accurate, but there's a door right here. So we're gonna put a door right there. And this leads into the room that has the cassette tape. So, candy room. Cassette tape here. I know it's a little bit weirdly shaped. In fact, I could just do that and then you don't you can just pretend that that space doesn't exist. That's a little bit better. That actually feels a lot better than it used to. And then of course we need a door right here. So that gets us out of here. All right, good. And then we need a door right here, which leads into the first classroom. So this is where our first notebook is. We have 22 minutes. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. Definitely getting a little nervous, but we're good. We're gonna get this done. We may not be able to put a roof on it, but we'll try our best. <laughs> Probably should have planned this out a little bit better, but I was just so excited to try out this new mod. I really wanted to get it done. So we're gonna build the other side, which of course has the notebook where we fail and Baldi gets mad at us. 
So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put a door right there. Okay. Very nice. So there's a gap here, and there's a hallway. And this is where God of Sweep likes to hang out. This is his closet right here. So we're just going to make a little one-by-one -one room just for God to Sweep because we know how much he loves to sweep. This is actually really weird because this side of the school is too big. Oh, well, I don't think it's a huge deal. I'm just going to roll with it. Okay, wait, I kind of messed up here. There should not be a door here. There should not be a door here. There should be a door here. This is where the door leading to the cassette room is, right? Yes. Okay, good. Got that straightened out. I was a little confused for a second there. But I can't stop and think for too long because I got 20 minutes left. Okay, so we're good. Now, we need to make another classroom right here. And this is where yet another notebook goes. So we got that set up. We're going to put a door right there. Very nice. There you go. Okay, so we're just filling in this hallway here. And we're kind of going towards the detention area. Okay, so I think I went a little bit too far over with the uh, cafeteria. That's okay. We can just get rid of this wall here. And then we know kind of more or less where our cafeteria is supposed to end. So this is going to be the end of the cafeteria. And the cafeteria door goes right about here. It's good enough. And then this wall goes almost to the very end. And then it turns right here. It's starting to make sense. It's starting to fill in more or less. And then we'll take this one all the way to the very end. And this is basically that super long hallway. Oh no, I'm out of stone again. I really don't want to build with metal or wood, at least not for the walls. So get rid of this. Oh my gosh, metal is so hard to break down. Please go away. Please stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. We have to go find some more stone. I only have 17 minutes left. Oh my gosh, this is getting spooky. Okay. I got enough stone, I hope, but I feel like right now we're in the most time consuming part of the process, which is figuring out the layout of the school, filling in the rooms, getting the walls all figured out. Once we do that, it's basically just putting the roof on the thing. So we're really like very, very close to victory, but I am very, very nervous about that timer. I do not like the way that timer's looking at me. It's freaking me out. All right, let's continue this brick wall, the yellow brick wall, even though the brick is obviously red. What is that? Is there something inside of that wall? There's a gnome inside of my wall. How dare you inhabit my wall? That's fine. Be a little Easter egg. Okay. Okay. So we put in most of the walls. Now we just need to fill in the rooms. So let's figure this out. Uh, if we go down this hallway, uh, we know Gotta Sweep is somewhere in there. But this room right here, we need to make a room right here because this is where the lock is. So I'm just going to make this room a little bit smaller. It's a little too big right now. We'll do something like that. That should be good. All right. There's your lock room. Let's continue on. A little bit further down, like right here, we have yet another classroom. And this, of course, is going to have yet another notebook for us. I think that's... A decent size. Yeah, that looks like it's about the right size for a classroom. All right, good. And then all the way at the end is the other notebook, which should go right here. So we'll put a door there. And then once again, we're going to fill this in. Ah, I'm getting lagged. No, no. Oh, where am I? Honestly, where the heck am I? Okay, I, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this lag. It's probably because everybody is playing this mode right now. And uh, this is not making this process any easier. We have 13 minutes left. Please, Fortnite, work with me here. All right, so now we need to go to the other side of this wall. And there's a faculty room. It's probably right about here. Yeah, that seems about right. And again, we're just going to make ourselves a little room here. And this is where the keys are. So these are the principal's keys, where you can get out of detention with them. Okay, there's still some, some spaces here that we haven't filled in. We need to figure this out. Oh, I don't feel like our school is wide enough. Honestly, I feel like we made a bit of a mistake here. But there is a classroom right here. And so this is where yet another notebook resides. We want to fill in this gap here. Oh man, this is getting really spooky. And then this right here is going to be our detention room. We can fill this in? No, we can't fill this in all the way. This is a very, very small detention room. <laughs> the detention room is too small. 
Oh man, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Yeah, the detention room is gonna be way smaller than it is in the actual game. Here is our detention room. Prepare yourselves. It's it's this, basically. This <laughs> is the room for detention. Who needs space? It's detention. You're being punished. Yeah, we took some creative liberties and we made a very small detention room. So what? I think, though, that we are done for the most part. I think we have the whole layout of the school. Now, admittedly, there are some doors that we kind of missed. Like, uh, for instance, there is a door right here. So we'll just build a wall and then we'll put a door right here. And this is like one of those yellow doors that you have to get through in order to get through certain hallways. There's also a yellow door right here. This is the one that's right in front of you when you first start the game. And then of course there's a yellow door right here. And then there's a yellow door right here. And then we'll put a door right there. Bam! I'm just gonna open these doors so that it's easy to get around and I don't get lost and confused any more so than I already am. We have 9 minutes and 45 seconds and I am terrified of the situation, but I do feel a little bit better about, you know, at least making it this far. So now, I just need to make a roof. And so I'm gonna do that in metal, because I feel like metal is the best option. Typically, you'd probably have, like, you know, lighting and stuff in the ceiling. It's normally like those weird foam panels. You guys know what I'm talking about? That's what school's roofs are typically made of. Kids can like sharpen pencils like super sharp and then they throw them and they stick into the ceiling. You know what I'm talking about. And for the record, no, I was not one of those kids who did that kind of stuff, all right? How dare you accuse me? The cafeteria is a lot higher than everything else, so I don't want to put in the roof there. I think I'm just gonna fill in the roof over here. And then maybe if we have enough time, we'll make the cafeteria bigger. We are running out of materials and that makes me very sad. So basically I've gotten to the point where I'm just gonna use whatever I have. But I do have to admit, this looks pretty cool. As we fill in the ceiling, I'm really happy with the way that this has turned out. Again, I wish that we had more time to do a little bit more detail. But what can you do? You get 50 minutes and that's it. All right, so now we're using wood mats to fill in this roof. That's fine. I only have six and a half minutes. You know what I should do? This is so dumb. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I should just get on top and I should just fill in all of the roof stuff from up above. That was very not smart of me. This is what I should have been doing from the very beginning. This would have been so much faster than having to run through all the hallways. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that sooner? Oh, Kian, you big dummy. You only have five minutes. You're letting the time get to you. This pressure. I don't, I don't do well under pressure. It's okay. We're going to get this done. We're going to get it all filled in. It's going to be beautiful. I am kind of running out of wood now as well. So that's not great. I guess we're using brick now. Okay. Okay. So now let's use the time that we have left and uh, let's make a bigger uh, cafeteria because that's going to be cool because the cafeteria is a bigger room in the game. I think we have done it. We have completed Baldi's school before everything blows up. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck. The game is lagging. Ah, before everything blows up, I want to get a nice view of this thing. We have 55 seconds left. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, let's get a nice view of Baldi's schoolhouse. There you have it. Oh my gosh. That is uh, quite a structure, if I do say so myself. I am incredibly happy with the way this turned out. I have no idea what's going to happen when this 30 seconds is up, but I certainly want to find out. So actually what I'm going to do is just build a staircase going, going up to this door. And then let's put in a little exit there. And we'll put in a little exit there. There you go. This is the entryway to Baldi's schoolhouse. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Uh, you can see, I mean, there's still some, some little weird things that we had to do in order to make things fit. But for the most part, it feels pretty right. This is a little too short. Wait, wh what? I still have five more minutes? Okay, well, let's try and use this time wisely. Let's get some more materials. I would like to get some more brick, if at all possible. And I feel like the cafeteria 
could ev be even bigger. And maybe actually we could put like a proper roof on this thing, but I don't know if I have enough time to do that. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe we can just use like stairs to kind of give it that sort of roof effect. Oh no, oh, <laughs> oh no, we're inside the storm. We're dead, we're absolutely dead. There's nothing we can do. It swallowed us up, it's done. Eliminated. We did it though. We built Baldi's school in Fortnite. And look at that. I placed first. That's how good I am. So as you guys can see, we have our replay mode set up. This is actually the first time that I've really played around with this. This mode is super cool. So you can actually see kind of some of the things that we did as we were building Baldi's schoolhouse. Look at how many rooms there is. That's kind of crazy seeing it from this point of view, isn't it? So before we end the episode, I figured we'd do a quick little tour of what we did here today. No face cam, because I don't want it to get in the way of the beauty of this structure. Not really, but I figured I'd take it away so that we can really get a taste of what's going on here. So obviously this is the entrance. I haven't quite built the actual doors yet in the timeline, but the rest of the building is all done. And you can see it looks quite nice. So this is where you'd enter. Of course, Baldi would be hanging out right here. This is the first classroom where you'd get your first notebook. I really, whoa, what is going on there? That was getting all blurry and weird. I wish that there was an ability to get like furniture going. That would be kind of sweet. Obviously this is your second classroom where you get Baldi all mad at you. And then you move down the hallway and this is where Baldi likes to hang out. This is where he spawns. And then off to the right would be the detention room. That would be right there. And then I'm trying to get an idea of what's going on over here. This is the cassette room and this is connected to the candy bar room. So this is where you get your candy bar. And then you're kind of back in that starting hallway. Oh my gosh, we were right in front of that doorway. Forgive me for the terrible camera work. And then we go all the way down this hallway and uh, off to the right hand side is yet another notebook. No, this is not a notebook room. This is where you get the quarter. Down this hallway, there's actually a vending machine right here, right? Yeah, so there'd be a vending machine right there. But then you'd continue down. This is obviously one of the other exits. All the way at the very end is the cell phone. We passed up one of the rooms that holds yet another beautiful notebook, but there's nothing in here. So sad. And then, of course, this leads into the cafeteria, the most glorious of all rooms where you get to stuff your face full of delicious cafeteria food. I don't know about you guys, but my cafeteria in school did not have delicious food. And I imagine Baldi's doesn't either, but it does have gnomes in the walls, so it's got that going for it. Moving on, of course, moving to the hallway. Uh, this room here, what is this room? Ah, this is the principal keys room. So this is yet another faculty room. This is one of those yellow doors, of course. And then this is detention, right? Yeah, we're in detention. I know, it gets like really confusing as you make your way through the hallways, but it more or less makes sense, sort of, somewhere in my head. Down this is the long hallway that has two of the notebooks, so you get that notebook right there. Of course, you have an exit over here. You have yet another notebook right here, and then down towards the end is the room that has the lock in it, so that's where the lock would be. You continue down this hallway, you make a right-hand turn, and this is where Gotta Sweep likes to hang out. You know, you gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Go down this hallway, there should be a door on our left hand side, and this is where another notebook likes to hang out. And then of course you have detention over here. What is this? Oh, this is that weird little hallway. Now I didn't really leave enough room to make it work the way that it really should work. Now this room right here is yet another book room. This is where you get another notebook. I don't know if I already showed you guys that. I probably already did. But yeah, this kind of this area didn't turn out exactly the way that I wanted it to, but it's pretty good still. I'm okay with it. And yeah, that's pretty much all the rooms. Let's fly out of here. Let's get a nice bird's eye view of our Baldy house. There you go. It's Baldy's schoolhouse in Fortnite. We did it. But there you have it, guys. We built Baldy's schoolhouse in Fortnite. We managed to do it in the time limit that we had, although it wasn't perfect. 
I'm still happy with the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think of our Fortnite build here, and let me know if there's any other stuff that you want me to do in Fortnite now that we have this playground mode. Super, super awesome. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.